Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's live stream. My name is Mackenzie Zach. Um, I'm just going to wait a few seconds before we get started to see if anybody joins us live. For those of you who do join us, um, just know that this session will be recorded. Um, so if you have to jump out, you'll be able to come back later and watch. Um, also, during the stream, if you have any questions, feel free to submit them in the comments. And at the end, if we have time, we will answer your questions. All right. So I am going to add in my dear friend, Michael Drake from North Park University in Chicago. Um, Mike is a really good friend of mine. We have traveled <laughs> all over the place together for different events. Um, so I've been really excited to do this interview. So thank you, Mike, for joining. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited too. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, all right. So we're going to just wait again a couple more seconds to see if anybody else is going to join us in live and again for those of you who do join in the session will be recorded um, we will also open it up for a q and a at the end so feel free to submit any questions you have for michael in the comment section and we will answer them at the end um, all right so let's go ahead and get started so first of all for those of you who are joining us today um, for our school spotlight, we are meeting with Michael Drake from North Park University. Um, North Park is located in Chicago, Illinois. Um, and on ApplyWave, you can find their bachelor's degree program. So that's a little bit of what uh, we're going to talk about today. Um, so Mike, actually, this is interesting. Yesterday we met or on Tuesday, we met with another university in Chicago. Um, so I'm curious to hear about North Park. So kind of tell us about the location. Where exactly is North Park in Chicago? Yeah, well, there are quite a few universities in Chicago. Chicago is the third largest city in the United States. So we've got about 6 million people. Um, so North Park is a small university. We're located on the north side of downtown. So we're in the city of Chicago but we're not right in the middle of uh, the business district or what we call the loop. Um, it's a very residential part of the city. Um, a lot of um, apartment buildings, a lot of small restaurants. Uh, it's a very ethnically diverse neighborhood that we're situated in. Um, and an interesting fact, North Park is one of the largest landowners in the city of Chicago because we were established in 1891 when the city of Chicago was not uh, booming. And so all of the land that we were located on was farmland and the oh. city expanded, encapsulated our campus, and so we maintain our footprint. So it's quiet, but we're in a big city. That's really cool. So you kind of have this little bubble of, of the campus inside the city. That's really nice. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Yeah. So I imagine there's a lot to do close to campus. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the different things that uh, students can do off campus, on campus? Yeah, well, there is. Again, Chicago is, is huge. Um, we're in a very quiet part of the city. So right around the campus, there are just a lot of restaurants. Um, very small um, restaurants. The, the neighborhood that we're in is one of the most diverse uh, zip codes in all of the United States. So there are about 40 to 50 different languages spoken in our neighborhood. So that also means that the, the restaurants are diverse. So we've got uh, Korean restaurants, we've got Mexican restaurants, we've got halal restaurants, we've got um, really restaurants from all over the world within a short walk from our campus. Uh, but we're also about a five to 10 minute walk to the L, which is the subway system in Chicago. And all of our students get uh, what's called the U-Pass and the U-Pass gives you unlimited access to the buses and the trains in the city of Chicago. So, um, you know, the all the touristy spots of Chicago are about a half an hour on the train from our campus. So. There's nothing stopping students from walking down to the train station, hopping on the L, and then moving about the city, seeing uh, the Bean, Navy Pier, <laughs> Sears Tower. Um, so that's all at, at the tips of your fingers. 
Yeah, the Home Alone house. The Home Alone house, yes. <laughs> That's <laughs> this awesome. Is the <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. I've actually never been to Chicago myself. Um, I know it's it's unbelievable, but I've just never had the opportunity to go. Mm -hmm. um, so it's interesting to hear, you know, it sounds like there's so much to do, kind of you'll never be bored. Um, I like the fact that North Park has so many different ethnic restaurants around. Mm -hmm. um, to me, that means as an international student, you most likely won't get too homesick if there's, you know, a specific meal you, you miss from home, like you'll be able to, to access it. So that's nice. Yeah, exactly. And it's really not that uncommon for me to get an application from a student, um, you know, no idea where the application came from. And then it, I find out in talking with a student that they have a family friend or a relative who lives, you know, a 10 minute walk or 15 walk, about a minute walk from campus. So um, we say that the world intersects intersects at 60625. And, and a lot of what I do really I see that as, as something that actually happens. So it's really cool. That's awesome. So speaking of kind of how the world is kind of all accumulating right in your campus and around your campus, um, tell me about the international student population at North Park. Um, you know, how many international students are there? Or where are they coming from? Yeah, we have uh, we have a global reach. So we have students coming from over 40 countries on our campus um, and we've got about 170 international students in total. Um, our largest demographic of international student consistently come from Scandinavian countries. Uh, North Park was founded by Swedish immigrants. And so there's been this um, kind of familial connection with Sweden for our entire existence at this point. So we continue to attract a lot of students from Sweden, but we have students coming from uh, India, from various South American countries, inclu including Argentina, Colombia, um, Brazil, uh, Southeast Asia. We've got students from Vietnam, uh, from Cambodia, um, South Asia and India. So really all over the world. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a really nice makeup of students and they're coming into a diverse environment, not just with international students, but with our domestic population as well. Mm -hmm. That's a really good point. You know, it's not only international students, but also students from the United States who are considered domestic students who attend the university also have a very diverse background. And um, mm -hmm. I think that's something really important to consider as an international student. Um, if you haven't had the opportunity to travel that much beforehand, um, you know, when you go to a university like North Park, you kind of get to see other parts of the world and learn about other cultures without having to go too far. Um, so that's an awesome, awesome opportunity for students. Yeah. Um, now, I want to talk a little a little bit about North Park's program. So mm -hmm. um, tell us kind of what are your favorite majors or the superstar majors and programs that students can um, can choose? Yeah. Well, we've made a large investment in the sciences. Obviously, the sciences are are, are in demand when it comes to careers. Um, mm. And so we've recently opened a brand new science center. Um, it's about a $100 million facility. Um, and it has all state of the art technology, including a PCR machine. We have a cadaver lab for students who are looking to go into the health sciences, whether it's pre-med or nursing. Um, and we've got uh, a new mechanical engineering facility within our science center. So uh, sciences are, are very popular. Business is extremely popular. You know, Chicago is a global business center. Um, and so we have Fortune 500 companies located here. Um, everybody associates Boeing with Seattle, but their corporate headquarters are actually in Chicago. Hmm. Um, and so we've had students do internships um, at some really uh, large internationally known uh, organizations. So business, Chicago draws interest in business. Um, and then I would say that nursing is a very popular, very competitive program. Uh, we've got a very high success rate in graduating students into nursing jobs um, and particularly international students as well. Uh, because there's such a demand for multilingual nurses or people in the healthcare mm -hmm. industry, uh, especially in Chicago. And so our nurses, our nursing students get scooped up pretty quickly. That's amazing. 
Yeah, and I think that's something that, um, you know, is, is important to point out that North Park is a really good option if you're, consider, if you're considering going into the health sciences, like nursing, like pre-med. Um, I know a lot of students are looking for those programs, so this is a really good um, option to consider if you are um, interested in pursuing um, the health sciences, because again, it's really important to take a look at these kinds of um, features of the school, like having access to these state-of-the-art labs, um, getting that practical um, training and hands-on experiences mm -hmm. is something that not every school can offer. So um, that's special. And um, I see here that uh, the nursing students were able to get involved right now with everything going on with COVID. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, well, um, we're associated with the hospital. It's it's the Swedish Covenant Hospital, and it's literally right next to our campus. Um, and so we have a lot of North Park graduates who have been uh, working with COVID patients uh, right on the front lines, um, and they're, they're making a huge impact. You know, they're, as any healthcare professional should, they're running towards the fire, and you know, they want to be helping, they want to be doing their part. And um, with our nursing program, they get such uh, quality experience and clinical rotations um, that's all arranged for them. You know, they don't have to think about it. They just have to um, know where they're going. And so their training is is really top notch. Um, and so our students were, were very ready for um, what they're currently experiencing. Yeah, and honestly, what a better way to learn and kind of just get thrown right in. I mean, mm -hmm. I imagine it's obviously very, very difficult for those frontline workers, but again, a great um, opportunity to to learn, especially during a time like this. So mm -hmm. that's awesome. Um, yeah. Very cool. So can you tell me a little bit about North Park's uh, rankings? I know you have a few um, regional rankings, so tell me about those. Yeah, well, we recently wow. just moved up. This year, we, we jumped... Um, something like 20 spots in the, the regional Midwest rankings. So we're now ranked number 39th uh, in Midwest universities. So that was really exciting for us. Uh, it's a testament to a lot of hard work around campus, uh, making sure that our academic programs are strong, that we're graduating students into either really competitive graduate schools or right into industry, into careers. So. Um, a lot of a lot of hard work and dedication went into jumping up on that ranking, um, and then also our our uh, diversity being such a diverse uh, institution. It's not common that you'll find a private university in the United States that has a majority minority population, um, and so we're ranked very highly in ethnic diversity, um, particularly among Midwest universities. Um, and, you know, that's a testament to our location, certainly. Um, and, you know, we're serving just a very diverse community of people. And, and that's something that we're extremely proud of and will continue to emphasize uh, moving forward. Awesome. And for the students who are joining us who may not understand what the Midwest is, can you tell our viewers <laughs> what, what it means to be a Midwest <laughs> university? Yes, I know and, what it means. I'm from the Midwest, but I want you to explain it. <laughs> well, in full disclosure, I am I'm an East Coaster. I grew up in, in New England, so <laughs> I'm still like, figuring out what it means to be a Midwesterner. <laughs> Being a Midwesterner. OK, I'll jump in. So I'm from the Midwest. I'm from Ohio. Um, it's, you know, Ohio is actually kind of I also feel a little bit northeast, yeah. but, but still considered Midwest mm -hmm. for some reason. Um, one thing I know, people in the Midwest, we're just very nice. We're very friendly. Very friendly, yes. <laughs> They're the type that will take the shirt off their back for somebody who needs it. <laughs> and they'll also talk your ear off, so. Yeah, very friendly. Like in the Midwest, if someone asks you, how are you? They actually expect you to answer, you know, right. with how you're doing. <laughs> Tell me about your feelings. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. also it's very flat. It's extremely yeah. flat here. You know, I grew up, half an hour from mountains and ski resorts um, and from the ocean, but we're far from the ocean and we're far from mountains right now. But uh, Chicago itself is a beautiful place. So, you know, we don't need mountains um, and we don't need an ocean. We have an enormous lake, but uh -huh. uh, it's still beautiful in its own regard. Yeah, the Windy City. Yes. <laughs> yeah, And also just again, to, to, so students can understand the Midwest, 
it just refers to the region of the country. So um, out of all the universities that are in the Midwest region, North Park is ranked uh, number 39. So that's awesome um, because the Midwest actually does cover a very broad chunk of the US. Yes. Um, so that's a really impressive ranking. Um, <laughs> Very cool. So tell me um, a little bit about, again, being in Chicago and having access to all these companies and mm -hmm. um, all these different activities and things that a city has to offer. Um, what about, you know, the different extracurricular activities that students can get involved in? Are there sports? Are there organizations? Yeah, so there, there's certainly a lot happening on campus. Um, sports, we're part of the NCAA Division Three, so uh, we're very competitive. Um, our men's soccer program, or football for most of the world, uh, is ranked typically in the top 10 in the nation. So they're extremely uh, competitive, um, very high quality uh, in 2019 or 20. 18, I think we uh, came in second in the national uh, championship. Um, so that year we were ranked number two. Um, but we have uh, 15 different varsity athletic programs, but we also have intramural athletics. So um, students who want to compete, they like sport, but they're not interested in like the ultra competitive nature and they want to do it more leisurely. Uh, we have uh, intramural sports. So, and th they're typically a little more fun, you know, we'll include uh, sports like dodgeball and badminton, um, indoor soccer, floor hockey for our Scandinavian students. So it covers a, a much wider range of, of sport options. Um, we have our own fitness center on campus. Um, and then Chicago in itself is just a great athletic city. You know, we have all the major sports, ice hockey, basketball, baseball, football. Um, and so our student government uh, oftentimes will work out deals with the different local sporting uh, pro, uh, sporting teams to offer our students discounted tickets. So uh, it's very common in the winter season, non-pandemic time for many of our students to be going to the Chicago Bulls um, for, for games throughout the season. Um, there's Broadway in Chicago. Our student government has gotten discounted tickets for Broadway in Chicago for shows like Wicked. Um, and then, That's amazing. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then also just cultural clubs. Uh, music is big on campus. Um, so we've got a lot of different ensembles, choir. Uh, we've got a gospel choir. So there, there's really a lot to, to occupy your time and, and give you a really positive experience. Nice. And I know, I mean, you mentioned the, the gospel choir. I know um, North Park has a Christian affiliation. Can you tell us a little bit about kind of the religious aspect to the university, if it's a requirement for students or, or kind of, you know, how that piece comes into play? Yeah. Uh, so North Park was founded as a, a Christian institution to train clergy. Um, obviously, over the last 130 years, we've uh, evolved. So we still identify as a Christian university, and that's very much a part of who we are as uh, an institution. We don't require any religious affiliation from our students. So students coming from any uh, religion, uh, no religion at all, are all welcome at North Park. Um, and there are no uh, religious requirements. Our students don't have to attend a chapel. They don't have to attend um, a church service. Um, they're welcome too, and we do have those resources available on a weekly basis for students who want to participate um, in their faith in, in real ways, like serving the homeless, like going on mission trips or service trips around the U.S. or throughout the world. Um, but none of that is required. Um, and it really doesn't matter what background you're coming from, you're going to find a community of people at North Park that you can identify with that um, are, are similar to you. Um, and again, it's a very welcoming, non-threatening community to, to enter into. Um, the one requirement that our students do experience is uh, a Bible class. So part of our general education is all students have to take intro to Bible. Um, and we do teach this more from a historical, from a literary perspective. So we're not using it as a recruitment tool for the Christian faith. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so 
So yeah, no, I, and a lot of you know a lot of uh, universities that don't have a religious affiliation, they have elective courses and things where you can dive into, yeah. um, you know, the different scripture um, that's out there. So I think that's a pretty typical part yeah. of kind of the core curriculum for most mm -hmm. students at most universities. And um, it's interesting to learn about those things from a cultural historical perspective, especially mm -hmm. um, for those who don't practice that certain religion. Um, so good to know, you know, it's open and welcome for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and I think even if you're not part of uh, the Christian faith, I think the, the the fact that volunteering and service is part of the, you know, the values of the university, that's, mm -hmm. you know, those are just good human values to have. And yeah. if the opportunities are available, volunteer work is something great to put on your CV. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, it helps you with your professional development and just personal development. So. Um, awesome that those opportunities are available to international students, um, yeah. in addition to internships and, and all of that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. um, now, about admissions for international students, um, I'm going to, at the end, I'm going to show our viewers how they can find North Park on Applywave. But yeah. when it comes to admissions documents, are there any special tests that you require, an essay, an interview, anything like that? You know, we really try to streamline the admissions process as, as best possible. So we're not going to try to bog down students with, you know, unnecessary testing. Um, so all that we require uh, for our application is your high school transcript, um, one letter of recommendation from a teacher, and then an English proficiency exam. Um, and there are occasions when we waive the English proficiency exam. So, um, you know, if you're coming out of an IB program or if you've been doing the Cambridge O levels or A levels, then those are scenarios where we frequently will waive a TOEFL or an IELTS exam. Um, but our application process really is pretty streamlined, pretty simple. You know, our goal is to, to admit quality students, students who are going to succeed at North Park. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And I know you have some great uh, scholarship opportunities. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, we do. Um, we like to give scholarships to international students. Uh, you know, we value their um, their presence on our campus and we don't want finances to be um, uh, a hurdle in them coming to North Park. So through ApplyWave, our scholarship uh, starts at $16,000 per year. That's um, about 50% of the tuition cost. It's just waived if you apply Amazing. through ApplyWave and get admitted. Um, but we also recognize that some students um, really have excelled in, in high school and we want to reward that. So there uh, are opportunities to increase that scholarship based on you know, your GPA in, in high school and your, your academic recommendation. Um, Awesome. And so, yeah, kind of it can, sky's the limit, you know? Yeah, it can go up from there. Awesome. Very cool. All yeah. right. Um, okay, Mike, I know we covered a lot in this session. I think this is very, very useful um, for our viewers to learn more about what you have to offer at North Park University. I know I'm really excited to come see the campus. <laughs> it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to open it up now. If any of our uh, viewers have any questions, feel free to submit them in the comments and we will try to get to those. But you know, while we're waiting, Mike, do you have any final words for international students that are watching? Yeah, good question. You know, I, I think I it's you really spot. important. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really important that you're doing your research and you know that you're looking at some of these, what might be seemingly small um, characteristics of a university, but this is a big investment and it's a life-changing experience for most students. And so you wanna be selective um, and you wanna make sure that you're looking at uh, important factors like location, uh, what the facilities look like, you know, what your experience on campus is gonna be. Um, and so, um, I'm glad you're participating in uh, the webinar, or the the session here, so you can get that information because um, it's it's really important. Yeah, and I like as well. You know, it's it's very unique to have a school like North Park where you have access to everything that a city has to offer you. You're right in the city, but there is still that 
small campus feel. Mm -hmm. So how would you describe, you know, when you're on campus, do you, can you feel that you're in the city or does it feel like, what, what's it feel like as a student on campus? Yeah, um, it's really funny because you can walk around the perimeter of our campus and not know that there's a university right there. But once you step inside the campus perimeter, it's like the whole world is zoned out and you've got this wow. small kind of suburban feel very quiet. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, like green space and trees. Um, so it, it, yeah, it's like, it's very unique and, and it's quiet. Um, and it's just beautiful. Like it's a great campus. Um, <laughs> I That's like awesome. just spending 10 minutes walking around campus midday just to have a breather and, <laughs> and take in the sights. That's the best. All right, so we don't have any questions coming in right now. So I am going to go ahead and show all of our uh, viewers how they can find out more information about North Park through Applywave. And again, as uh, Mike mentioned, they uh, so generously offer um, around $16,000 to students who apply through Applywave. And then there are also additional scholarships available, you know, based on academic merit and those kinds of things. So I am going to share my screen. Let me see. All right. Can you see my screen? Looks good. Cool. All right. So if you just go to applywave.com, remember North Park University offers some amazing bachelor's degrees. So what we need to do is click here on bachelor's degrees, and then we can just simply type in North Park University. Uh, we hit search. All right, so here we go. If we look at the school profile, we'll be able to see some more information about North Park, such as admissions requirements, uh, the scholarship requirements to get additional scholarships. Um, here we can see all the available programs, which is awesome. I mean, you have some really unique um, majors and a wide variety. So there's kind of something for everybody in here, which mm -hmm. I think is awesome. You know, here at the map, we can see exactly where North Park is located and some more, you know, pictures and videos showing that beautiful campus. Um, all right, guys. So that is all. Again, if you just go to applywave.com, click on bachelor's degree, search for North Park University, um, you'll find everything you need right here. And then if you're ready to move forward, you can just click apply. Um, if you don't have an account yet, the account is free to create. So you'll just set up your account and you can start moving forward with your application um, right here through applywave.com. Um, you can see it's really simple to add in all of your information here. You can even upload your documents, which is awesome. So again, check it out. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, I know Mike is always available. So if you need any uh, specific questions answered, I'm sure we can always um, get Mike to have a one-on-one -on -one call with you. Yeah, with absolutely. You. <laughs> cool. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Mike. It was a pleasure to interview you. Um, thank you for having me. We'll have you back again soon. Yeah. All right.